leaving. Back in the hatches and main full of jib, and all the hands are heaving. We'd hardly even left the dock when one of the Vassar girls discovered that the salty air had straightened out her curls. The tugboats departed, the motors were started, and we began to rock. Some baggage from B-deck was found out on C-deck. The rest was still on the dock. The first afternoon, a girl from Smith at Shuffleboard was beaten. The chef prepared a tasty meal, but not a drop was eaten. Three of the hardier Dartmouth lads tried to start a dance. And a girl in a sweater was writing a letter to mail ten days later in France. Heave ho and hoist the sail, the student ship is leaving. Fasten the bowsprit and rig the boom and all the hands are heaving. The second day the sea was calm and lectures and concerts were planned. But when the time had rolled around there wasn't a student on hand. For every young Yale was chasing his tail and wealthy girls always are fun. And lads don't make passes at lasses and classes. So lifeboats, there wasn't a one. The third day out, it rained a lot and there wasn't much else to do. So a lady professor became a transgressor with a handsome young Swede on the crew. Four girls from Poughkeepsie got just a bit tipsy and worked themselves into a stew. They wanted, for instance, a dozen strong Princetons, though one Harvard freshman would do. And hoist the sails, the student ship is leaving. Luff all the portholes and run of the galley, and all the hands are heaving. The fourth night out, it grew quite cold for the couple's rubbing noses, but the watchman found them with blankets around them in rather ingenious poses. While one clever couple, amazingly supple, was up in the crow's nest above, they observed with a shudder way out on the rudder a clutter of brotherly love. By the fifth, sixth, and seventh days, all were so bored that they searched for diversion quite frantically. Said a Bennington squaw, let's do just as before, but this time twill be mid-Atlantically. Then, professing great passion, she drank the wine ration of a mate from the boiler room crew and developed a yen for a sophomore from Penn who was aft just observing the screw. And hoist the sails, the student ship is leaving. Both in the foxhole and leeward the mast, and all the hands are heaving. Days eight and nine brought our ship close to land, but no one had sighted it yet. Still, with tears and great sighs, people said their goodbyes to people they never had met. Then a Yale man realized he'd forgotten his ties and was soon observed backstroking west. But we gave him a cheer as the ship reached the pier. For on the whole, it was all for the best. And now that the voyage is all behind, my toast to the boat I shout, to the engine room crew who knew just what to do just as long as the scotch tape held out. Now every time I smell the sea, I recall with deep emotion the hoops and hollers of 900 scholars adrift in the midst of the ocean. Oh, heave, ho, and hoist the sails, the student ship is leaving. Starboard ahoy, mates, and poop deck the bridge, and all the hands are heaving.